Oh, definitely oh, Kevin Smith. Smith. Without a doubt. So Kevin Smith drip, first of all, just looking at it. Um, start with the shoes. We're going to peep the shoes. He's definitely got um, never normal shoes, never um, anything with laces on them. They're always the van slip on, checkerboard vans on them. Uh, assuming just because he's got man baby syndrome, he can't tie his own shoes. He's probably about a financial investment from going to the Velcro shoes. I think the worst part, the most offending thing about the drip is definitely the lower half. Um, you see way oversized jean shorts uh, showing a skinny, skinny little calf that connects to like some sort of skating style shoe. It's just atrocious. That's accurate. It's disgusting. It's despicable. Uh, I simply would not want to be associated with a person who has drip like that. Personally, the slip-ons, they could work. They're good. They look like boating shoes. They're, you know, they're fire. They're in right now. Um, but when you wear them with every fit, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't it. And then you move on up to the upper half, which is not as bad. Still disgusting. Um, interior drip. He's got a graphic tee, probably another Walmart one. Walmart plug on the Kevin Smith drip. Um, Marvel tees only, okay? He's got to show that he's into comic books. Up top, you get a weird graphic t-shirt, usually some sort of uh, B-rate comic that nobody really cares about. He's in the comics. He's got the vault. He's cool. He's probably got a Star Wars room, for all I know. Not saying anything. We got to go to the exterior of the torso. He's got not a jacket, not a hoodie, not even a cardigan. Uh, we're talking oversized suit jackets. And you're, I know what you're thinking, like, what the fuck? Um, that's appropriate to think, because what the fuck? Usually shrouded in like a sports coat or a blazer that is uh, not your normal colors, like, you know, a tan, a black, a gray blazer. It's always like a maroon, something wacky, something that just doesn't make sense. Um, full on oversized, suit jackets to where the sleeves reach his dumb little palms right here um they go out there just enough for his little fingers to poke out so he could grab his uh probably grab his little phone and tweet some shit about you know some canadian film that he's shooting now you know whatever and then you go up top and he has some weird oversized hat uh way too big for his fucking head on backwards it's not a good look at all you know he's trying to do like a whole business casual thing and it more or less looks like he went to business school at waco um just not good drip at all this is drip that comes from the cosmic depths of some absolutely horror abysmal pit and that of a lovecraftian story okay he's got the drip of something that you would sin as a lawyer as a defendant defending some serial nonce rapist pedophile um out in Get him off. You probably get him off. Get him a reduced sentence of three months plus probation. Oh, he's definitely a turbo nonce. It's through and through. Uh, he's probably killed three kids, this guy you're defending. You're a lawyer, and you're defending a killer, a kid killer, rapist. Um, and that's what you do as a lawyer, a defendant. And basically, when you do that and you live your life and you go to hell, you go to the bottom layer of hell. You go to all seven layers, bottom bit abysmal pit um, in there. What do you see? Seventh layer of hell. Kevin Smith drip. Oh, oh capital, capital punishment. punishment. You see someone with drip like that, and it makes you want to pull out the nine. You want to get violent. If you see him on the street, you want to cap him. You want to put him fucking under. But uh, we can't do that. We're in a civilized society, so we have to allow the government to step in at some point and provide uh, capital punishment probably have to take him to maybe Goodwill or something, tell him to, you know, just pull some tags from the racks, you know, what's good, what do you think is a good fit, something fire, switch it up a little. Um, of course, he's going to come back first time with jean shorts and a suit jacket again, and we're going to say, go back and try it again. We're going to run him through that Goodwill about three or four times until he gets it right. Yeah. Definitely Harry Nilsson. If you look at his drip on the album Do We On Monday, uh, it's righteous. It looks holy. And, and just in case you're curious, that is a translation to God and my right. And I think the drip is pretty godly. Best drip, um, definitely Wesley Snipes. Um, hands down, probably just, he's just figured it out. He's known it since birth. He, he found a look. God had given him a birthright look. 
and he's figured it out. He, he rocks it, he gets it going. Doesn't, need to, doesn't even need to peep my grills. You should. <laughs>